Hi there, Virgo Libra. Welcome to your love reading for February. So today we're taking a look at a connection that you may be dealing with. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your individual signs. But if it does, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, share. Anything you can do to help support this channel is really, really welcomed and appreciated. Um, if you're interested in private readings, you can check the link below for the sunnyvirgo.com. And on Instagram, we have weekly messages. All right. So, um, first of all, I was getting a soccer ball, okay, football, whatever you want to call it. I know that United States, England, that's sort of a problem over there with the language. But um, I was getting specifically a soccer ball, and um, I was kind of getting, you know, soccer, it's a sports team, so it may be about you working together with this person, creating a team with it, uh, with them. Um, but I kind of feel like you were leading the way. I kind of feel like you were taking charge of the whole situation. So um, maybe you are, maybe you need to take charge of the situation. Um, but let's see what shows up. It could also feel, and I feel like uh, that was the main message, was that you... I don't feel like you need it because I feel like you are already in that place where you're already trying to do that, where you're trying to create a team with your spirit guides, you're trying to create a team with the universe and trying to make the right move. You know, I feel like you're trying to figure that thing out. So we have children and chemistry. So I kind of feel like with this children, I feel like there's this need of having fun and trying to work with this person, not in a work, let's see, let's make a, a whole plan, you know, very Virgo thing. Let's make a whole plan on how to deal with this, on how to move forward. It's more of a fun, let go kind of vibe. And uh, I do feel like there's a strong, with that chemistry, there's a strong connection between the two of you. And I, I feel like you may be putting a little bit of pressure on yourself on the relationship, trying to make it look perfect, you know, trying to make it um, in a very specific way. And I kind of feel like, yes, you may need to lead the way, you may need to take charge of things, but don't try to force anything you know you may need to express your feelings to this person but don't try to force uh, a, a specific relationship uh, or a specific path of the relationship just try to let go you know yeah especially with this moderation um is there something uh, in this case it talks about eating but it's about taking moderation in doing things mindfully and healthily you know not trying to pressure this person um, it could the rules could be reversed, so take it however it resonates. Um, but I definitely feel like you are the one who's taking charge, and maybe you're pushing things a bit um, with this magical blessings and with this chemistry. I definitely feel like things are moving, but it may need a little bit of time to develop. Okay, this person may be going through some stuff. You may be going through some stuff, and it really needs a little bit of time to make things solid. I feel like that is the problem: is that things may not be that solid. Um, and it does need a little bit of time to grow, okay? And how can you grow that? Working as a team while having fun, okay? It's about playing street soccer, not professional soccer, okay? <laughs> Let's see what we have here for you. So, oof, my god. High Priestess for the overall energy. This is a very strong connection. And also, it's that thing of working with your guides, of figuring out where to go, what to do, you know, really following your intuition and really working together with them. Because I kind of feel like you may be receiving messages through so many different ways. Uh, I am getting specifically through nature, through uh, possibly birds, animals overall. Uh, so really pay attention to that. Maybe also with fruit. I don't know why that's coming up, but... Um, especially because we also have this moderation, right? That's talking about eating. Uh, but maybe especially with food, with fruit, uh, you could be receiving signs and messages through your guides. So please don't ignore them because they are trying to tell you something, okay? So we have that three of pentacles of working together as a team for your side. Two of cups and the moon, yeah. So from your side, there's definitely a lot of love that I feel like you're not expressing with this moon. And um, there's definitely this wanting of working as a team, maybe work with this person. Um, for most of you, I actually feel like you don't, uh, but you may. I just feel like there's this thing of, okay, let's try and make this work. But at the same time, I, I feel like a little bit of fear of 
maybe ruining a, a really nice friendship that you may have. You know, this could be a childhood, um, a friendship from your childhood. And I feel like you, you were a little bit scared of ruining what you've already uh, built with this person on a friendship level. And moving things forward may be a little bit, may make you a bit scared. Let's see, for their side we have the tower, yeah, the lovers, wow, and the knight of swords. So here's the thing, they definitely want to be with you, definitely. Um, but again, with this tower, I definitely feel like there's something going on, especially with this three swords, wow, world. Um, I definitely feel like they could have gone through a breakup recently. Um, they could have ended something. For, for some of you, it could be a divorce. Um, and I kind of feel like they are still dealing with some stuff. They are still healing and they need that time. But there is a lot of love here with this lovers. Um, and they have two major arcanas. They are going through massive, massive changes. And I definitely feel like they need a little bit of time, okay? Two of pentacles here for the past. Um, I feel like things, possibly this was a friend with benefits or a situationship. I don't feel like n nothing ever really happened, but I am kind of feeling that th this chemistry was there for a very long time. Uh, you may, may may know this person for like two, three years, um, six years maybe for some of you even. Um, but I definitely feel like there was a lot of chemistry from the beginning, but probably this person was with someone else and um, things just couldn't happen. And so, or they, that someone else could be something else, okay? Maybe they were going through big changes in career and things were a bit shaky, okay? But I definitely feel like there was a third party here that now they are letting go. Now they are releasing that and they are getting ready. They are preparing themselves to move towards you. And that n does need a little bit of time. They want to do that pretty damn fast, but it does need a little bit of time, okay? With this tower, I feel like things may not be falling apart necessarily, but things are happening quite quickly and they're like trying to, you know, take care of everything and trying to not freak out and trying to make everything stable and let me breathe for a second, you know? And so I feel like it's not that they want, don't want to look at this relationship. It's not that they don't care about you. It's not that they don't want the relationship. It's just that I feel like there's so much going on on the back scenes, going on on their life that they do need to figure things out a little bit first before they can move towards you, okay? So let me clarify here a couple of things. Let me see this moon for your side. Can I get one more, please? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel like there's this, whoops, there's this, um, let's have fun, let's just do stuff, let's just move. And even, like, you talking to yourself, like, you telling yourself, oh, let's do this, oh, let, I'm just going to express my feelings, I'm just going to do this and that and the other. And then, with this five of ones here, bottom of the deck, it's like, oh, man, I can't, no, I'm not going to do it, it's not the right time, it's it's not for me, you know, I'm not going to take charge here. And have seven seven, so you may be seeing a lot of sevens. Um, but I definitely feel that... It's, you may think that this person is still caught up on whatever they are dealing with. Like, they still want that in their life, especially if it is a person. And that that may not put you in the picture, you know? That may not make you able to be more than friends, right? And I honestly, I don't feel like that is true. There is a lot of love here. And it's not just, oh, you're sweet, oh, you're cute, oh, this, this is a very nice friendship. No, it's deep deep, deep, deep. Lovers and high priestess, that is deep, okay? And I definitely feel like it's okay, all right? And even expressing your feelings, I do feel like it's okay for you to express them. You just need to be aware that this person may say, um, okay, I really want this. They probably, in the beginning, they're going to be like, oh man, that's so awesome. Let's do this and that and the other. And let's just move things. But as things move on, they may start to cool down a little bit because of that tower, okay? Things, I feel like, do feel like there's a lot of stuff happening for them that they need this, the time and space to work on it, okay? Let me see the two of pentacles for the past. Yeah, they could have been cheated. 
there could have been, um, I'm, I am also getting money, yeah, as I say that, uh, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, um, there could have been also issues with money, be it literally career or the person they were with possibly, um, took a lot of money from them or created a lot of debt that they, um, debt that they need to clear, right? And I feel like they are trying to find their balance, okay? And there's that thing with this queen of pentacles, king of pentacles. It's like, I feel like from the very beginning, um, you saw each other has, like, each other's match. You saw each other has, oh my god, this is the person, this is it, right? And they do see you that way, too, but five of swords, there's, and it showed up in the middle of them. So there is definitely something here that is blocking this connection, but they definitely want to move towards you, okay? They definitely want the new beginning, and I feel like they always want it, because um, you do make them a lot of, uh, very happy, okay? You do make them very happy. By the way, we have over here Scorpio and Gemini, especially, especially Gemini, um, but it doesn't have to be. And I feel like, honestly, when you two meet... Uh, met, I, I, f I feel like that is when things started to change for them. That's when they started to see the relationship or is the relationship and the things that they had in their life for what they really were, you know? If things were imbalanced, they saw it. They started seeing that. They, start, they started paying attention to the red flags, right? I feel like until then, they were, oh, it's, that is fine, that is nothing, you know? And I feel like when you showed up, because you showed them all that light, because you showed them so much depth, so much um, happiness, and so much emotion, a range of emotions, that I feel like they didn't totally feel with that other person, um, that really shifted their perspective, their perspective on their love life and what they want, okay? So let's try and figure out this tower, what is happening here? Ooh. Yeah, three swords here again. The five of cups also wanted to come out. But let's see, we have the nine of cups. Wow. Nine of cups, three of swords, and the moon with um, Aquarius energy. Could be, definitely be dealing with an air sign. Um, Aquarius energy of healing here. Healing and figuring out what makes them happy, right? Two cards of wish fulfillment. And I feel like they are taking, like, releasing anything that is not that. Again, three of swords. I kind of feel like you don't know about this. You may not know about it. About the ending, about all this tower uh, moment that is happening. But it is happening, okay? Um, and I definitely feel like they are leaving anything that doesn't bring them joy behind. You know, I feel like they are doing a lot of deep, 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 deep healing. And they are taking care of a lot of stuff. I definitely feel like it could even be around career too. Them, um, like forgetting about a career that wasn't making them happy going towards a new path but i definitely feel like that is a very specific uh for a very specific group of you for most of you i definitely feel like this is about a third party that they are definitely releasing okay and with this lovers the lovers is about a choice and their choice right now is you well their choice right now honestly is them their choice right now it's them being happy, but part of that, them being happy, you are in the picture, okay? So, let's see that lovers, to get some more information. Yeah, we have the two of ones, world, and six of cups. Look at that. They're definitely making a choice for you, okay? They are choosing you. They're looking into the future, and I feel like when they start looking into the future and seeing what this other person would bring them, they didn't feel happy with what they saw, you know? But when they started imagining their life with you, they were like, holy shit, this is my wish fulfillment. This is what I want. This is what I want in my life. And I definitely feel like that changed the whole thing for them, and they definitely started making um, the changes that were needed here. Definitely feel like for some of you, it's about... Um, well, for some of you, for some of them, <laughs> this is about a divorce. Or a very, very, very long-term commitment that they had. Possibly this was like the, their first lover and they never really questioned anything else, you know? 
So let's get some messages and advice from the universe to you. And then we'll move to some messages from this person, okay? Ooh, my goodness. Virgo Libra. Yeah. Internal factors, a lot of healing happening. And external factors, that third party that is there. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, look at this. New beginning of the horizon. Hang and tie. Change is coming. Embrace it. Everything is going to be okay. Follow your freaking heart and go crazy. Okay? Don't be afraid to express your emotions again. Okay? Don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to fall in love and to give in into this connection. Because I definitely feel like your heart is guiding you there because it's meant to go there, okay? And you have this beautiful new beginning and change happening all around this connection, especially around this person. Um, this person is going through heavy, heavy shit. So um, I definitely feel like they are healing, but their main, like their main thought is you. So there's amazing things coming in, Virgo, Libra. I really love that. So let's pull some messages from this person to you. God, yeah, look at this. I knew it. I knew it. You are my best friend. I'm not ready. Yeah, we'll be together. This is a big, big, big confirmation. What else? The Virgo Libra. Yeah. So we have over here, um, no one compares to you. I'll be there for you. And I want to make love to you. And the funny thing is that bottom of the deck, we have, I want to have sex with you. So maybe some of you, this uh, was a friends with benefits or I don't know, maybe something happened. Um, and maybe at the time, like in the beginning when it started, I feel like it could have been just sex, you know, I'm so attracted to you. It was that chemistry, right? But now they have deep, 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 deep feelings. And it's not just about the sex anymore. It's about the love. It's about the emotion. Okay. It's about the intimate in, intimacy, intimacy, yeah. Um, and I mean, <laughs> this is a big confirmation of what we've been discussing. So they definitely see you has their light. They definitely see you has someone that they want a commitment with. They just need a little bit of time, okay, to figure some stuff out and to release some stuff out, okay. But we'll be together. So. Virgo Libra, I hope this resonated. Hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.